Today, the stock market has been relatively flat. But if you've been rolling us and you see the stock market is up 1%, 2%, even a half of a percent, you have more money than you had yesterday. So shout out to everybody who know what they're doing and know how to knock it out of the park. But when you don't knock it out of the park, you know how to take the small wins and kill it like that. I want to put the first banger on the list, a.k.a. stock, which in this case is Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA. I know what you're thinking. You've been looking at Tesla here and there. There's actually some new things going on with it that is making it even more interesting than it has ever been in the past. Now, what is that? Since Donald Trump is the president and he's in cahoots with Elon Musk, who was the CEO of Tesla, you know how Tesla has been saying for years that they're going to have this self-driving and have the cars you get in the back seat and it could drive you here and there. Or even if you're in the front seat, you don't have to drive it at all. Well, Donald Trump's administration has been having talks out loud and some whispers that they're trying to ease up the regulation of self-driving. The only reason you don't got self-driving everywhere now is not because it's not good. Many people own Teslas and they have been using self-driving for years now. But the reason it's not out on a mass scale to the extent that everybody could be using it is largely because of the regulators, the powers that be. They're trying to find out how they can monetize it better. They're trying to find out how they can control you better and control it better. But with Donald Trump in office and especially with his relations to Elon Musk, they're trying to ease up on it. And as soon as that robo taxi network gets opened up and we see this happening with Tesla, the Tesla could go from a $300 stock to a $500 stock. It's not going to happen overnight, but it's something that you got to make sure that you're getting a piece of the pie on. And that's what I'm doing with my Tesla stock, and I'm willing to buy more of it. Next banger on the list is Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. I want to bring this right back. Love him or hate him. Talking about Donald Trump. That's totally up to you. This is not about if you love Trump or if you hate Trump. This is about how it pertains to our money and how we're going to get paid here. He's been saying a lot of things that the big businesses like to hear, particularly the big tech companies. Apple being one of the biggest tech companies on this green earth is going to benefit immensely from all of the things going on with a Donald Trump administration and a Donald Trump presidency. Now, again, I'm not telling you that you should have voted for him or shouldn't have voted for him. It's not about that. It's about making money and looking at the things that are going to really thrive behind Donald Trump being a president and Google being one of them. Now, Google, another big tech company. So I said Tesla. I said Apple. Let's move over to Google. Google has been getting sued by the Department of Justice about being a monopoly. If the government don't care about breaking them up because they don't want a monopoly, then I get that. That's cool. However, with Donald Trump in office, he more so believes that a company should not be a monopoly, but it should also be allowed to operate effectively. You shouldn't get penalized because you offer the best service. People are saying, yo, let's Google that. They're saying, yo, go Google that. They're not saying, yo, go Bing that. Go Microsoft that. Go Tesla that. Go Apple that. They saying, yo, let's Google that. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. They shouldn't be penalized for having a good business that actually worked where people want to use their search engine. So keep your eye out on Google as well. The big tech is going to kill it. Now, the next one, Amazon. I told you time and time again, the season is coming up. What season? Tis the season to be jolly. We're going to have Christmas coming up. We're going to have Valentine's Day coming up. We got Thanksgiving coming up. We got all these different holidays coming up. New Year's. People are going to be shopping on Amazon like you've never seen ever in the world before. Since that's the case, the people on the consumer side who got their carts full, sometimes, you know, they're going to be paying a little bit too much. But the people on the investment side, the people who own the stocks are the ones who are going to profit from everybody else who's on the consumer side. And like I said many times, you've been living your whole life on the consumer side of everything. You've been consuming the Apple phones. You've been consuming because you bought yourself a Tesla. You Google things all of the time. You are a consumer. You are a user of these products, but not a direct beneficiary of these products because you didn't own it. It's time to own it so you can make some money. Now, Amazon, your cart's full. Okay, how do you get on the other side of the equation and make money off of other people's carts being full? That's how you're going to kill it. Microsoft, another one. You may be thinking to yourself, you don't really use Microsoft stuff like that. But guess what? When you go to hospitals, police stations, when you go to anywhere that's a big facility or institution, they are oftentimes using Microsoft things. So these are the customers of Microsoft and hospitals ain't going nowhere. Police stations, firefighters, they ain't going nowhere. They're using Microsoft stuff and the government is going to keep pumping money into that. Microsoft is going to keep growing. Donald Trump is the president. The president favors big banks and big institutions and big tech. Oh, so they're going to win. So how about we win with them? I'm loading up on Microsoft, too. Microsoft has a ticker symbol MSFT. Now, some of these companies, again, 
You might want two shares, three shares, 10 shares. You think about how many shares you want and build that up. And then let me know when you get there so we can plan on the next one going forward. Now, if you're not a member of KGU, then come and sign up. I'm doing a live stream and a live trade tomorrow. We just killed it on Friday's buy alert. Now it's Tuesday coming up. I'm be live trading. So I want to see you over there. You got enough time to tap in and be in on that. The link is in the top of the description and I might pin it to the top comment. But the next one, NVIDIA, they're having their earnings coming up about three of the last four. I told you this in the past. NVIDIA, they've been running up after these earnings. However, the last one, they dipped like crazy. So I say that to say this. I will put 25% of my money in before earnings and I'll put the other 75% after. So if it dips a lot, then I'm able to really load up heavy. But even if it runs up after, I will still go in because NVIDIA is a $175 stock that just looked like 140 today. Why? Because everybody else is trying to catch up. But they do have what they call a headwind ahead of them, meaning this Blackwell chip. And excuse me for my allergies is really getting me. I've been really having a day. I told the family that, you know, I don't really like to go too crazy with it. But my mother is currently in the hospital and I got to get out of here and go and be with her again and help her to feel comforted. But I don't want to get into that too much. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to tell you about the stocks. I'm not here to to do too much, but I'm going to just leave it at that. NVIDIA got this Blackwell chip that's coming up and they're saying that it has some overheating things going on. So they got to manipulate it and innovate it that way. So if you hear negativity towards NVIDIA and it dropped ever so slightly, you know, bam, that's when it's time to jump on that. That's when it's time to pounce on opportunity. But if you're looking at S&P 500 kind of stocks or the big tech, like I've been talking about, look at this ETF. It's called QQQ. It's a collection of the top tech stocks. So this one with big banks and big tech and big everything running, you should look at a big tech kind of index fund, a big tech kind of ETF, a big tech basket of stocks. That's QQQ. This is what a lot of people are loading up on. That's helping them to kill it in the stock market. So keep your eye on Bitcoin as well, because Bitcoin, the run is not done. And as soon as the run is done on Bitcoin for now, we're going to get that altcoin season where the little coins run up 100%, 200%, 10,000%. So if you like this video, you really going to like the next one, family. I got some bangers for you and I see you over there. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Prayers up. Take care.